Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 14, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want our full technical analysis um, and, and all of our other futures. Um, the link is down below. So let's go and look at uh, the NASDAQ, and as you can see, NASDAQ is up roughly two percent really good day for the nasdaq today but we're running into resistant here at the 50 moving average roughly at the 14.2k if you manage to break above the 50 moving average then we may go towards the top of the middle of the bullish band roughly 40.5k and after that to the 200 moving average of 15.2k give or take and after that it is basically to the all-time highs. It's basically a break of this downtrend to the highs if that were the case. However, if we break below the candlestick from yesterday, then we may see this market tumble all the way down to 14K. That is probably what is going to happen in probably the long run. We'll probably see um, some pull uh, back and forward in the next few trading days, but outlook for and the world economy, also US economy and so on, is not favorable, uh, uh, not very favorable at this current stage. So we may see this market tumble even further, especially if monetary policy gets much tighter. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still negative, stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish. So momentum is definitely changing to the upside. But however, if we turn around, take out this candlestick here, then watch out below. So if you look at the S&P 500, this is much more bullish. Now it's starting to look like the bullish candle is still in play. And that would mean that we could see this rally roughly 400 points to the upside if that were the case. So we're trying to get past this trend line. So right up here. If we manage to break above here, then we may see this try and take out the highs of roughly 4,631. 4, and if that is the case, then we'll try and go to the all-time highs here of 4,817. That is a big ask in this environment. Uh, if we turn around here and take out the lows from yesterday, and then we may see this market tumble towards uh, 4,300, 4,200, and then probably all the way down to 4,100. If that gives away, then there's uh, basically a tidal way, tidal way of, of selling that's going to occur. So there's uh, some positivity in the market that due to high oil prices, high, high energy prices, and basically high commodity prices and so on, that that will, um, that will slow down the economy and uh, prices will therefore uh, come under control. Um, that is uh, maybe yes that will have an effect of course uh, oil energy prices will uh, affect uh, purchasing power of uh, of, uh, of consumers but i don't think that we are going to see um, economy where the fed is not going to increase interest rates significantly so they're most likely going to increase significantly interest rates and then they're going to try to uh, cut away qe as, as slowly as possible in not in, uh, so that it doesn't affect the stock market that's probably what's going to happen um, but we'll see if we look at technical indicators for the s p 500 you can see the macd is still negative so that stochastic is bullish has crossed the signal line and there's rsi is is bullish as well so momentum is turning to the upside and we need to take out the 200 moving average in order to go higher so dow jones also looking fairly bullish as well. Tested several times at this uh, uh, 34.1k, and we have bounced from that. If we take out uh, this uh, candlestick from yesterday, then we may drop all the way down to the very bottom here. However, to the upside, taking out uh, if we rally above the 200 moving average and the very uh, the tops here, then we may go towards the very highs here of 36.9. But that is to be seen. Technical indicators, MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So, yes, there is momentum to the upside, but we have been in this range for quite some time. And we basically need to break out of this, and we're going to do that either to the downside 
or to the upside. So let's look at the European markets. The DAX is looking, well, fairly bullish at this point. It probably will have a run at the 50 moving average up here at 14.4K. However, if we take out this candlestick here at 13.8K, then we're going to see a tidal wave of selling all the way down toward the very bottom. And we'll probably get a double bottom here before we get another bounce. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So this is far more bearish than the US indices. And of course, uh, European markets are... Um, probably more effective when there's more skeptic skepticism over the war in uh, Eastern Europe um, and Europe could easily uh, get in massive troubles if basically oil or natural gas gets cut from the from Russia so yes there is uh, there is uh, a lot of fear that this may tumble to the downside so if you look at the volatility index we can see the VIX completely turned around today heads back towards the 200 moving average it was most likely going to find support here and um, if we do break below here then the next uh, support line is uh, or support is around the 8 18 point to 22 um, pretty sure that we'll find support here and we'll basically bounce and we'll probably stay in this range however if we manage to take out the the top of this candlestick then we'll go and test the 50 moving average at 26.49 and then we'll go and test the very high C yet again so yes it has been is the wix has basically been all over the place uh, uh, when you basically thought that this was going to go back to the highs it basically fell apart if we look at technical indicators we can see the macd is uh, bullish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so uh, macd is uh, bullish in negative territory so momentum is still to the downside if you look at the 10 year it has a pull back and it needed to pull back and we'll probably see this pull back even further towards roughly 2.5 where we'll find support that's the middle of the bullish band also the previous highs here and that's probably we're going to see a pull back here and then it continue higher and if we take out this that will most likely going to go for three so Hope you find this helpful. You will support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.